The Little People by Fidelia Fielding Read by Frank Blissett Yes, the little men were here then. They used to tell about them, my grandmother and the rest. It was long before my time, but my grandmother knew of them from her grandmother. Folks saw more things in the woods then than they do nowadays. Well, it's different. Anyhow, Nanu, my grandmother's grandmother, saw the little men when she was a child. She was coming down the Yantic River in a canoe with her father and mother. There they were, the Makiawisug, the little men, running on the shore. A pine woods came down to the water there, and she could see them through the trees. But her mother told Nanu, Don't look at those little men, they will point their fingers at you, then you cannot see them. So she turned her head away. There were not many of them. And the little men would come to your house, so they used to say, asking for something to eat. You must always give them what they wanted, for if you didn't, they would point at you. Then, while you couldn't see them, they would take what they wanted. That is what the old people told the children about the little men. They told their children about those things. Then, once, an Indian and his wife lived here. They were Mohegan. They saw a little man, too. It was in this way. One wild, stormy night, a rap at the door. The wind blew very hard when the squaw opened it. Someone was standing outside, but she didn't know who it was. When she found out what he wanted, she told her husband that he wanted her to go and take care of a sick woman a long way off. She then told her husband that she was going and that she would be back before long. So she packed up a few things and out through the storm the person led her. This small person was a little man, but she thought it was a boy. They went on and on through the storm. It was a bad night. Even the squaw didn't know where she was being taken. But at last she saw a light before them, and soon there was a house. The little man said nothing, but led her in, and showed her a little woman lying ill on a bed of skins. This little man and woman were Makiawisug, and the squaw then saw that they were. But she took good care of the little woman. For a long time she stayed with them, not saying much, but doing very well. By and by the little woman got better, and pretty soon she was well. After this the squaw was ready to go, for she had been away from home long enough. So they gave her presents, and she packed her bundle. Then the little man wound a piece of skin over her eyes so that the squaw couldn't see, and led her back to her husband's wigwam. You see, the little people treated her well. But when the squaw got to her house and took the skin from her eyes, she couldn't see where the little man had gone. He was gone. This squaw and her husband wanted to find the little man, but they couldn't. So they gave it up. The little people died out. I guess these were the last. They lived way back in the woods. They kept away from the Indians. All of this happened a long time ago, before the white people came down here. My grandmother told it to me. That was The Little People by Fidelia Fielding Read by 
Frank Blissett.